Hello and welcome to this Eyes of Harmony podcast. On this channel we talk everything old, new and upcoming Doctor mm. Who when we have the time. Yes, so, <laughs> as it seems. God, yeah, like, I wasn't expecting the new Doctor to, well. be, to be released, but Shooty Gatwa yeah. is the 14th Doctor <laughs> I, I, and I'm happy, I'm yeah. very happy. I can tell you exactly where I was. I was, like, sitting, having, like, lunch with my mother and sister in some restaurant pub thing called The Sun uh, in Notting Hill. And we were just talking, having a nice Sunday dinner, you know. And then I feel some vibrations on my phone. I'm just like, nah, you know, I'm just talking with family. I'm going to live at the moment. Immediately. And then, like, I pull it out and it's like <laughs> our, our, our group chat blowing up. And, like, yep, somebody, that was, oh, and, that's how I got it. And, yeah. and somebody else also messaging me going, oh, how do you see about this? I'm like, what's the show now? <laughs> it's like... Oh, gosh. This is crazy. Yeah, I was I was in the park with um with Lily, my girlfriend, and um yeah, I think either yeah, I think I looked at my, we both looked at our phone at the same time, <laughs> and because I saw the message, I was like, oh, what the fourteenth Doctor, and then she kind of just opened her phone, and it was the first thing like on her feed, hmm. and yeah, Shuti Gatwa Shuti is Gatwa. the fourteenth Doctor. Yeah, <laughs> fucking amazing <laughs> casting. I think. Yeah really obvious when you kind of look at it like hmm. it's funny that no one really pointed towards him i think you know they had tanaya miller um but yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it there's, just there's makes it makes so much sense about except for him and it's like yeah <laughs> beauty was completely kind of overlooked completely um, yeah, under the radar yeah not not someone i'm no like i have not seen familiar with education yeah i haven't seen i've seen a few of them the like meme bits like I've seen wash them your since. hands you dirty um, pig. Not, um, not, not at the time. Not at the time. I hadn't seen uh, anything of him. But like, it was, it, I've seen the memes since. <laughs> um, they're good. Mm. I I plan to watch um, Sex Education. Um, he's actually in the upcoming Barbie movie as well, mm. um, which I've been looking forward to, <laughs> as well as Oppenheimer. There's a lot of memes at the minute of people yeah, on the same <laughs> like day. going to Oppenheimer to Barbie, <laughs> which I honestly might do just because it would be funny, like <laughs> complete double billing. <laughs> but honestly, that but Nolan films are long, aren't they? Maybe I won't manage that, mm. but maybe maybe back to back days. But like, yeah. So ah, yes. Brilliant casting. I think he's going to bring a lot of energy um, yeah. and charisma to the role. Uh, I think it's just going to be a nice, yeah. fresh, yeah. Uh, breath of fresh air yeah. ready for the yeah. show. I think, um, you know, Russell T Davies cast the Doctor and Phil Collins. You know, it's yeah. not just RTD. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, it's the whole team, but Phil Collins. And, yeah. Um, from from yeah. the interviews, he just seems to have the spark, you know. Yeah, it, it's great, and you know he talks uh, talks you know excitedly about the show as well. You know, he's somebody who's you know actually you know a fan as well. Which well, yeah, you know, sort of when he would have been like twelve, thirteen, I think, mm. when the show came back. So mm. he would have been aware of it and probably watched a bit of it. Yeah. When it was on TV, let's be honest, um, it was one of the biggest shows in the UK. I'd be surprised hmm. if, if he wasn't like aware of it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's it's awesome to have a young doctor. I think this is the youngest hmm. one. I don't no. know how old. No, he, no, was. he's no, he's, no, he's, no, no, old, no, he's older. He's 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 old. I feel he's older than he looks because of course from Sex he's Education 29. he plays like yeah he's twenty nine. Matt Smith was announced when he was twenty six. Twenty six. Wow, Matt was young. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. that's only two years older than i am that's crazy <laughs> no but i meant i meant for rtd doctors because mm. chris eccleston and i'm wondering at how old david Tennant was when he was cast as a doctor he was like 31 something like that um but yeah like i i um i fully trust that uh uh rtd's casting choice you know I, both times before it was knocked mm. out of the park and i think this is the right f just a good one it's going to get a lot of people interested in the show i mean as you said yeah people message you saying you might they might actually watch it again mm. yeah basically and that's it's like, what, exactly what well, you want yeah, it, that's what you need because like it, it's somebody who's relevant with in particular like late teens um young adult sort of audience which is, I think, a demographic which Dot Two has been rather lacking in actually like targeting, you know, in recent times. It it seems like 
I, I, it's a weird mixture of like targeting. I think I think the whole Chibnall era has like simultaneously like shot like very adult, but also then very childish at other points. <laughs> yeah. So, and sort of just doesn't hit that middle bracket, you know. Which Dot 2, again, Dot 2 has struggled with. Like, Class was specifically mm. made to target oh, that God. demographic. And completely missed. Them. Completely missed. <laughs> Nobody <Yeah>. cared. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Yeah. Um, I mean, the whole intro is terrible. Mm. I don't even remember the, it. it. It was like it was that like weird pop song. It was like, and duh, 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 duh. it like goes on and on and on. Duh, duh, duh. It, uh, it was. It I was, don't it was remember it was that a, at all. Watch it. Watch Class it, was a fever I, dream. It never I, existed. I had, yeah, I know. I literally <laughs> I heard it again recently, uh, for something. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, I forgot how bad it was. It was just like color, kind of, um, like what was we No, so we trope. But the uh, you know where things are like parallax and all that. God, it was yeah, it was not good. <laughs> it was a bad intro. Mm -hmm. Um, it was like trying to be like, yeah, we're young and hip. Yeah, and like you know. Yeah, it's like really it, it feels. How, how 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 are you, my fellow kids? Sort of vibe to the whole yes, show. exactly. That was it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So Shooty um had to learn like an eight page script for the audition they did wow. like an eight page script is what Gosh. rtd said so you know learn it all off by heart come in perform it so that's intense but wow, that, that i'm really guessing is. i'm guessing that's to prepare for probably quite an intense filming mm. schedule yeah i i wouldn't be surprised if rtd goes back to at least 12 episodes or 13 episodes you know i wouldn't be mm. surprised i feel like rtd knows he knows a system that works, right? He got it to mm. work, and it's like, yeah, why would, why great, would he? A, a great personal expense. personal costs. Yeah, yeah. But who knows? It's like maybe he's thought of ways around how to fix it. Like if we did it again, how would we change things? The issue is, mm. is when they were in that system, they didn't have time to stop and be yeah. like, yeah, where were the issues? How could we mitigate this? Now what they've got. Well, I think they're shooting in June, from what it looks like. Um, yeah, I, I, I but... think I think the, the key crucial thing to make that work is having a bigger budget, because you know you, you look at stuff like Netflix shows pre <laughs> now pre Netflix crash, but um, Netflix shows in general, um, you know, like which do some of which do have like larger episodes because they have like larger budgets in order to accommodate it and like have that sort of resources and manpower in order to make it mm. function, you know? Yeah. Because I don't just think he hasn't had, I will be surprised. I mean, it won't go less than 10 for sure. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up to 12 with a special, but like, I'm so interested in what they're going to do. Are they mm. going to do like a series instead of a 60th anniversary? You know, like what I wonder what they're gonna do. You know, are they? How are they gonna? Are they gonna really introduce a new Doctor on an anniversary special? I mean, yeah, I can, I can see it. I've had a, sort of had crazy. an idea of how it could work, even if, if they, even if they continue to have like a multi Doctor setup, um, is very much sort of a reverse um, twice upon a time in that you have previous Doctors helping an upcoming Doctor to sort of. I guess find themselves potentially, you know. Um, yeah. I don't know in what form that takes, but you know, like maybe there's an issue, you know. I don't know with the regeneration or the circumstances in which Shooty's doctor um, emerges from, or something like that, you know. And maybe the other doctors are needed in order to help to, you know. Get him mm. on his feet, maybe, or some, mm. something mm. like that. You know, it's just just sort of a thought I had about how they could kind of make that work. That could be an interesting one. Mm. I'm excited to see what you know Shooty's costume's going to be. Mm. I'm excited. Oh, the best thing about a brand new like showrunner era mm. is like how much like a new Doctor's era is like cool. Like you know, that's nice. But when the like showrunner changes, mm. like it's so fucking different and crazy like everything changes yeah tardis interior um mm. you know theme like i'm so excited to yeah. see 
RTD's like it, 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 second it, it, go at like a title sequence. Like, what's he gonna do? Because yeah. he fucking knocked it out of the park with two thousand five and ten. Hmm. Like that one is still maybe my yeah. definitive favorite. It just always like even watching it now, it still gives me like butterfly mm-hmm. chills Absolutely. watching it like Absolutely. the music still and i don't think it's even a nostalgic thing at this point because mm. like even the, the black and white one can do that and you know i mm. watched that later on like i think it's just the music and, and oh, just yeah. the visuals yeah. like it just sounds alien and kind of dangerous and scary mm. and yeah. i don't think one since has really really hit that the most Not recent the one is good the most recent one i uh Moffat era ones, I didn't really vibe. No, not not this so much in terms of the music. One is, is great. In terms of the visuals, I didn't mind some of the Moffat ones. Like, actually, I know it's one that doesn't get talked about a lot, but I, I think the um, series seven part two titles was actually quite underrated. It was short of a time really? it was actually used. Yeah, like I, I kind of like the cloudiness and the, they actually got the face in there and everything. I suppose. I think what's what's the shame about the Capaldi one is, mm. I don't know. I feel they should have like done with the clocks a little longer. And... Yeah, well, actually, like the original, uh, it's just VA, the, theme. The, the, yeah. the original um, fan project, which they sort of based it off, right? Like yeah. that went really hard on that. And then when they Moffat was like, "Oh, it was such a good idea," and then when they actually transitioned it to the show, it was like less cool than it was when the fans yeah. did it, <laughs> kind of thing. I didn't mind it. It wasn't my favorite, but it was I more the, it. the theme. It was so fucking. What did they use that f- like Ferro mode thing? You know, it was just too high pitched. It mm. didn't. It didn't strike fear. It was more alien sci-fi, but it just wasn't that kind of like. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like the driving drums mm. of of the RTD. That one's still just. Yeah. Yeah, oh, course, amazing, yeah. and yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. I love the movie version actually. That one's really good. Mm. It felt very epic, you know, for like yeah. the movie and and everything, and, mm. and that was fantastic. That theme. So yeah, like I'm so excited for this new era. I mm. think yeah, Shooty, oh, but... I think is gonna is gonna yeah. I think seize the role very quickly. Oh, I don't. I, I mean, he's I, already I... proving to be like a good sort of ambassador, and like just really quite a wholesome. Like I don't know if you saw the whole back and forth between him and Sylvester McCoy, but that was just nice. You know? I haven't seen his response. I've seen <laughs> Sylvester McCoy's video with where he looks like he's about to take <laughs> off with the fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, but yeah, I think yeah, he's. I think. Russell T Davies knows how mm. to sell a show mm. and how the marketing around it should be you know like yeah um as he said in the in the press release I'm sure you're dying to know more but we're rationing ourselves for now with the yeah. wonderful Joey's epic finale yet to come and I think he said it was 90 minutes yeah he I did. think he, said he did yeah uh, which is cool I'm glad that it is, is I still yeah. think there won't be enough time to do everything there, no no that's but, not going to be and I fully expecting it to i'm i'm honestly mm. like whatever i'm gonna take what it is and then i'm gonna be like rtd2 I, I still, I, I, you know I'll, I'll still take it for yeah, yeah i still I'm look at it as it like... is like if i don't like it i'm gonna say i don't like it oh but, yeah you know. i'm not gonna dwell on it if it's yeah, not great exactly we, we've got greener pastures you know definitely i'm Horizon. so confident I'm I'm excited for a new interior TARDIS. I yeah. never have really vibed with this current one actually. Yeah, um, like I don't mind the ideas, but it just made the whole TARDIS feel small, you know, because we only saw like literally the console room, uh, which felt kind of weirdly cramped and like it never felt it went anywhere. It literally yeah. felt like just a TV set with blacked out yeah edges, because like oh we can't see any further than down there it like was the a reference to the classic series <laughs> i mean i suppose i mean you could argue that uh, that are you know the first rtd one was a bit like that like it never really felt like it went anywhere you saw there was a kind of corridor off but you never ever yeah but then they actually showed you more of it like in a christmas invasion where you had like the, the true, long that's wardrobe true, yeah. side of it that was and such. I really hope that we get them picking clothes again. I really like it's an underrated moment, like I seeing mean, a doctor pick their clothes. Well, they they did do that with Jody though. They had the um second hand shop thing. 
did she did she actually show she did she actually come out in stuff i think she did maybe she did yeah see i enjoyed that though hmm. yeah like they didn't do it for ages see matt smith choosing his costume that was a great moment but capaldi just kind of showed up in his well they stole his initially <laughs> from the uh, from the old guy on the street and then he oh yeah, that's not. That's yeah, not so it's not his permanent, though. but like his he first, shows up his first costume was one he stole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of funny, but... but like, you know, we just never got him mm. choosing it. Like, what made him go? Ah, yes, you know, mm. I kind of would have liked to have seen that scene. I think it's an important part because it's almost like mm. the Doctor choosing our identity, right? In a way, yeah. This is who I'm gonna be, mm. and that's why it was nice, you know, seeing like Tenant look at it and think about it and matt smith's form was different but it, it was yeah. well done you know mm. set up well so yeah i'm i i did have a feeling russell t davies would go back to a, a male doctor i mm. feel like that's where i think he has a very specific idea of what doctor who is I yeah I was I was thinking it would he'd go back to a man I, um, I would have been sure, fine but... I would have been yeah happy mm. either way because mm. I just trust I trust his casting process yeah. and everything but yeah I wasn't maybe I was surprised yeah but I wasn't I, was... I wasn't wasn't like I was a bit like now nah, that makes sense that's that's I think my gut was telling mm. me that but also I would have been like I would have been interested I wonder yeah. I wonder who it was who had it before because obviously yeah. like Shooty was the final. Hmm. They had someone else you know, in mind beforehand. Someone else had clearly done well. Yeah. I'd hate to be that fucking person. Imagine well, being that. I mean, they probably don't know, but they, imagine. My, yeah, well, exactly. They probably don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm like I said. Matt, from now on, like I'm not fast. Like you know, cast whoever they think is right for the role. You know, regardless of well anything really. I think now. Yeah. Right oh. Point. Oh. So, at this point. Yeah. Whatever. Like. Yeah. And. Yeah, you know, I, I, going on with the speculation, yeah, I was kind of thinking it might have been the female Doctor, honestly, given generally where the speculation had gone. It was either female Doctor or David Tennant, <laughs> it felt <laughs> like. Um, so, um, yeah, I, 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 this this did surprise me, but yeah, at the same time, as I've been saying, you know, it makes total sense, and like, mm. you know, the, the casting... Like I said, it's very relevant. Somebody who's literally just in the in the process of like when they announced it was just winning in the war. So, you know. Yeah. Do you think it was planned, or do you think there was a leak coming? I up think that and... had to. Have, yeah, I think it had to have been a leak because I don't think they would have. It released was somewhat it in of nowhere. Yeah, they wouldn't have released it in this manner. Like even if they weren't going to get to doing it on the actual when you'd ex like it, on the actual you know centenary or whatever. Um, you know, you'd expect them to have something, right? I think like a, a little video in, like they did with yeah. Jodie's or, you know, like a show like they did with Kapal some something, you know? Like, but it was just like... It was a like, very sudden drop. Just, I well, think, it was, it I think they knew a leak was... Instagram, coming. wasn't it? Like, it yeah. was just like, Shooty, like, literally, like, posted, like, a heart plus... Two box. hearts plus a blue box, yeah. Yeah. And then, then it was... Then it was a thing. It was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it was going to come out and they're like, you know what? Maybe they left it a couple of days, but they're like, you know what? Let's just do it on the BAFTAs mm. day. What a what a free press release, basically, yeah. which it was. Basically, yeah. Totally um, for them. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, smart decision. But yeah, I'm reading. Um, I'm f I finally got my hands. Um, on uh, a writer's tale, the final mm -hmm. chapter, um, and it's so interesting reading RTDs. It's basically just a load of emails back and forth, but mm. it's just RTD kind of talking about his creative decisions, and it's kind of crazy seeing like how they went along. And he came up with the whole concept to turn left really early, like you know, I think it was like March or April two thousand and seven. Just so, such a you know, good idea, but you know, <laughs> I'm not surprised. And it's it's crazy. It's just you know, someday it's like, oh, I've come up with this great one, you know. Instead of going left to the, and you know, he just comes up with the whole plot on the spot. He just knows exactly where it's going to be, mm. and it's this alien feeling off of it. And it's it's and it's crazy, kind of seeing like uh, a plan basically typed out on what's going to be 
for the upcoming series and you know it's just crazy to see all that whole process and how it, how it kind of develops and mm. I'm, I'm only right at the start but yeah you know i this guy just knows how to run a tv show and mm. it's just gonna be great i just yeah. i want to know how many episodes i hope consistently as well i feel he yeah, will try for please. every year like i don't mind less episode count as long as it's like every yeah, year yeah yeah well that was that was what i was saying like it's like i don't understand what this current era why <laughs> yeah like not only was it less but then it was like far less frequent like the pandemic was understandable but even before yeah. that it's like yeah we've got so much less done than either of the previous eras in the same time period you know again pandemic aside you know yeah and in fact with yeah. the pandemic we would have got even less <laughs> in a way because they would have just done the third season and that would have been it we wouldn't have got these specials in the centenary <laughs> no, they timeline wouldn't have made sense <laughs> that great but yeah probably yeah well it's yeah it does kind of show from... it would have been interesting what the future was but hmm. talking about that chibnall's bombshell interviews oh, with yeah. <laughs> with uh <laughs> with Doctor, um, Who Doctor Who magazine, that's it, yeah, and a lot of interesting things, and that's the thing which uh, fucking first drafts, man, first yeah. draft scripts it, ending up it, in production, it, and it how with that many gaps, right? I'd understand, I understand for Moffat and RTD era, yeah. right? Like they were doing it back to back, year, year, year. I guess that's probably the reason why they scrapped the writers' room after one season. One series, and, yeah, <laughs> because like, the, how could you drop the ball for the season finale? Like, it's. Mm. I mean, he kind of got lucky that resolution was not long after that. Yeah. That slightly leaves left series eleven with a better taste in the mouth. But yeah. my God, the Battle of Rask or Ranscore of Colos. Not only is a terrible title, but fucking like Jesus Christ, it's, it's so bad. So... I watched it again recently. It's so fucking bad. Mm. And yeah, like fucking first draft shit, and it's it's insane to me. Um, a lot of the things like the fact that he said, "I don't." Maybe this is him trying to like throw people off the scent for the centenary, but it's mm. like almost he doesn't want to reveal where the fugitive doctors set he has an idea but doesn't want to say because mm. he's trying to add more is more mystery but it's like he can't really do that at this stage in the show's history you can't just suddenly go hey thing you're never going to work out or find out yeah then what because like what was the point in doing it at all if you know we're not exactly. really going to explore that you know it's yeah just, just changing the canon for the sake of changing the canon you know yep and futures of jadoon wasn't even meant to have that whole thing in it it was meant to just be yeah. some princess who was being hunted by the feet by the jadoon honestly that, probably that was it yeah been better it would have yeah. been more focused it wouldn't have suddenly just changed from a jadoon story yeah, into something else. I, I think i said that at the time but it did kind of feel like two halves yeah and then jack and, and then jack <laughs> see i kind of split it in three <laughs> in a way yeah yeah weird mm. and then like to, the whole time as children thing it sounds like that's not really gonna which in some ways actually i don't mind you know what yeah leave it but... leave it as that at the same time again it was a thing you know it's sort of like if you're going to do it commit to it you know i don't like the idea but yeah and that's the thing like, but i think he loved far... the idea of a morbius doctors he i think he likes that personally where i liked it not being a thing yeah, like I just, I, I just looked at that as like, oh, it's just Morbius is formed. I know it doesn't entirely That's make way, sense, but yeah. you know. Well, their brains are connecting. It. Would yeah, but make... no, no, it doesn't entirely flow. But like, you know, but just, just for the sake of argument, those are other things. I, I know that they were intended to be other doctors, but <laughs> I would have liked to have just gone on <laughs> thinking they were other Morbiuses. Yeah. Yeah. But that's no. <sighs> in other news we had the whole um fake out with Edgar Wright. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that was that was sad. 
It was like, what was he fucking posting I, I for guess, then? Well, I guess that remains to be seen. You know, it's clearly something else that involves blue doors and... Uh, what's it thing? was like Diamond Chandelier, which is like representative of 60, 60 years. I don't know. Did they... Because the thing he said no to was like writing, I think. He didn't... It was a bit... Yeah. One thing said writing it and he said nope. Which... Yeah, it, it, so the, I guess there's a small chance he's <laughs> just like directing something rather than writing. But yeah, I, well, I mean, he wouldn't write the 60th, but yeah. directing it. I mean, he was off to, offered Rose back in the day, yeah, which was something new, which he had to turn down because he was working on Shaun of the Dead, and his yeah. mum's never forgiven him. So wouldn't it be insane? <laughs> to get like him. that's that's who you get for like the 60th man, yeah. or like, Rachel Talali. That's actual, who I'd want. Yeah, like someone. Because Doctor Who's never really like we've never director, got hero the, directors. No, the directors we get are TV directors, and they're really good. Up and like, coming, up yeah, and coming TV oh, directors, yeah, which I do like directors. about yeah. Doctor Who. Hmm, I do absolutely. like that they do that. It's very cool, and they a lot, some do go on to bigger things. Jamie Magnus Stone has been sick, and I'm glad he's directing the centenary because he is a mm. good director. He did War of the Sontarans. He had the old idea of putting a Sontaran on a horse. I mean, what a fucking visual. <laughs> and he directed the shit out of um, Village of the Angels as well, which yeah. is incredibly well shot and directed. Um, and he did Ascension of the Cybermen. Yeah. You know, and uh, he's, he's, a solid he's, story, yeah. he's a very good um, director. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I think if anyone was to come back for... for um, the finale for, for the 60th even... I would want Rachel Talali because mm. she just directs the fucking hell out of every <laughs> every every episode. She absolutely nailed it. Uh, no, even Hellbent looks great. The shots. Oh yeah, well. absolutely. Um, like... But yeah, Heaven Sent. I mean, yeah, I, I'd love if she came back, but you know, why not go for a rock star? Why not just go? <laughs> You're kicking off a new era, right? Yeah. Why not just go for? a a Peter Jackson, you know, someone well, exactly, who... Well, exactly, yeah. I, I brought Why that not? up, because, like, that we're still long overdue that, because, like, <laughs> he was talking about it for, like, ages, and it just imagine, never materialized. Yeah, imagine how much fucking publicity you'd get if you had, like, a Peter Jackson or an Edgar Wright hmm. directing the 14th Doctor's first episode, which is the 60th anniversary, yeah. which is going to have maybe returning Doctors. Hmm. You know, like, imagine the viewing figures, man. Yeah. Like, and at the end of the day, the viewing figures have not been great. Like, no. Legend of the Sea Devils did bad. Yeah. Like, even and with catch-up figures. Yeah, the, the catch-up figures did, like, boosted it further than I expected it to, but it still it was did, great. Yeah. 3.47. I mean, that's lowest of a new era. Hmm. I, I think, what was it? The lowest before that was, was it Eaters of Light, which was 4.73. Yeah. So I mean, it's like a whole, yeah, seven three, like a whole million under under that. That's a lot. That's mm. a lot below. Is that the lowest of all time? No, no. What's the lowest? Battlefield Part One, I believe. Part One. Oof. It's a shame because I really like Battlefield. Oh yeah, not the same, but. The BBC wants it to die, and by golly, did they make it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now it's such a powerhouse. Uh, three point one. Yeah, three point one. Yeah. Oof. Which is why I was like initially wow, when I saw literally those... one episode. Only it's done better than one episode at like yeah. the death of Doctor Who. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and granted, Colin you Baker know, was pulling better figures than that. Yeah. And granted, I think the show's stable enough on account of the, you know, international audiences and distribution, and all of that. Oh yeah. But like, it's still. Yeah, overnight means nothing these days. But that's like seven day consolidated. Yeah. That's yeah. Poor. Hmm. <sighs> Yikes. Well, but, yeah. I'm I'm glad fewer people had to endure that episode <laughs> at the very <laughs> least. <laughs> it's such a shame though that the Sea Devil's return was just boring. Mm. Yeah. But I'm so excited, man. Mm. New monsters. 
Um, that's something that's kind of lacked this era as well. New monsters just, apart from Azure and they look great. I can't even remember his name. Swarm. Yeah. Look great, just and it acted really well, but then just kind of wet fart finale. Yeah. <clears throat> just they of, just yeah. weren't explored. They didn't have time. You know what they did yeah. have was weird. We still never got answers to what the heck that was in the Antarctic with, <laughs> um, as, yeah, yeah. But like, like yeah. Uh, in the first like episode. Prisons, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, like standout villains just haven't been strong for this era yeah. either. The best standout have been the the old ones. They've been written well, to be fair. Yeah. When 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 Chibnall gets his hand on a classic character, he writes it really well. I think he's good at adapting ones. I don't think he's so good at coming but up with Nick, new ones. What about Tim Shaw? <laughs> Great potential and ruined. I think he was good in the first episode. He was good in the woman who fell to earth. But good. Nick, what about the Pating? Terrible. I fucking hate that. But episode. Nick, what about the human mutations from Orphan Fifty Five? <laughs> you, you can't even remember their names. No. The dressing. <laughs> dressing. No, so. that's no, that's no, that's Carnival of Monsters, isn't it? Dressigs. It, that, that. Oh my god, I can't even remember. No, Dressigs are the fucking. They're the good ones. Yeah. Are they? No, I think Dressigs <coughs> are carnival monsters. What were they called there? I think they were dregs. Like... Dregs. 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 Yeah. I was close. That's where I got it from. Yeah. Dregs. <laughs> dregs. The dregs. That episode would have been a heck of a lot better as Dressigs. <laughs> dressigs, right? That would have been dope. Um, Trying to ask I'd monster. say the good ones, the best ones have been. Kablam men. They were yeah. great design. Hmm. I like them a lot. Tim Shaw was decent. I did like the Witchfinders, zombie esque things. They were okay. Mm. Didn't like, didn't not stand out like characters, makeup or anything. Uh, I did like the Scorpion Lady from Nikola Tesla, but obviously the rest were just kind of CGI. Yeah. Can you hear me? Villains were cool. The rest were all returned. I don't even remember them. Oh yeah, no, I do. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> and then Azure and Swarm were good designs, but again, yeah. not written great. Just... Yeah. And then it's all returning for the next one. Like, fucking hell. All these free specials, right? Mm. Have been just returning villains. Yeah. Mad. Which I don't necessarily mind. Um, you know, if you're just making episodes to fill time, I guess there's no better way than to just, like, okay, here's a, you know, here's something you know, <laughs> and just build off that. <laughs> Do you think yeah, is going to change the Daleks? Do you think he'll finally change Dalek design? I don't know because again they've they've tried it before and failed quite horribly. Um, I'd like a color scheme but... change. Oh I no, absolutely! Wanna... Like I said, I've been saying this for a while. I want the greys because, like, I think the the, the, the coolest Dalek designs, like specifically, are, like Genesis, like those shots of them, like over the trenches and such, like with the greys. Perfect. Like, give me that color scheme, please. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like some black and black gray, kind of um. Do you remember which one it was? Maybe it was like one of the Daleks in like the black and white era, maybe. But when you um, see the color version, well, maybe it's. Would it I have mean, been the black power? and white Daleks were only really ever silver and um blue silver and black i wouldn't mind uh, well plus the yeah emperor's guard ones which did have the black lids and um yeah evil as well yeah i just love i like a bit of change i think the issue with those gray ones are they like is a bit it's a bit i don't know between them but yeah the original the original ones are great well, again, it, like, makes it, it makes it more tanky you know that's also kind of what i like about that but yeah, the look is great. I mean, I just I'm excited for a RTD written Dalek story again. Absolutely. Um, I wonder if he'll save him for the finale or if he, he's going to leave him for the first season. Well, I think, they have to I think be, in be in there, there. somewhere. Yeah, they, they, contractually yeah. they have to be. I think he'll do a one episode kind of thing, like a Dalek, like a smaller Dalek story, and then leave it. Well, they... I hope he does. Yeah, I well, they could just appear. Like, it, does, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Dalek episode. They could just appear somewhere, or just a part of them appear somewhere. You That's know. true. Maybe. Moffitt, Moffitt I, do you know what that. I'd like? Do you know what I'd like is they just do 
a series and then like an after credits of the finale is like a Dalek scene which sets up something that's going to happen in the next bigger. series. Yeah. You know, like building up to something. Yeah. The Daleks master... Mastered a plan. They've mastered it this time. <laughs> they have perfected the plan. <laughs> yeah, they've perfected the plan. But, um... Yeah, man. I just... I just want to know, like, how long is he going to stay? Yeah. What's, is it going to be a series? Then the 60th, are we going to get a special? I mean, they're shooting June, right? Mm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It sounds like Doctor Who. They're going to shoot nights for, like, a long while. There's going to be military fake grounds, exp controlled explosions, car explosions. Mm. I mean, that just sounds like Russell T. Dav like Russell T. Davies' Doctor Who to me. E. <laughs> you know, those kind of Earth, those Earth invasion stories. That's what he loved to do. Yeah. And, you know, I... I think while he says it's going to be very different, I still think there's going to be a very Russell T. Davies tone oh, yeah, to it. Oh, yeah, of course. And ultimately, I think, you know, he's going to tell different stories, which he hasn't done before, but I still think it will still very much feel like you could go from end of time to this next era and be like, yep, this is the same guy running the show. I still yeah. think there'll be that. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it was successful, right? Like, you, you, you're only gonna, you're only going to go off that path so much. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna be dope, but mm. man, yeah, I just I hope he stays for like enough of three seasons. Yeah, I I could see three seasons. I don't think he'll you know do the Moffat <laughs> and Goldberg, but mm, yeah, um, but you know I can I can I, can, I think I can... also the next writer he will almost like shadow them. Maybe. I think I think it'll be more of a a, a pass the torch, continue what I've started, mm. thing, especially yeah. if it goes back to being successful. Could kind of be yeah something to build off. Definitely. I mean on the on the I mean and what was the other thing wasn't it something rumored that like Moffat's going to be almost like what's the word like watching over, like giving advice to RTD. For the upcoming um, era or something or just some sort of yeah some sort of oh yeah supervise I, yeah I according to Stephen, that. according to this Stephen moffat interview in the latest radio times magazine there are plans to supervise doctor who there's no more information okay. about this at the uh, interview hmm. it is mainly about the time traveler's wife interesting because uh, and and the segment is and radio times is pretty you know established yeah. and and yeah, doesn't really course. say shit uh, as for Doctor Who, Moffat is thrilled uh, at plans to supervise the show under the returning Russell T Davies. When I left, I said to the BBC that the show needs so much more money. There's a tendency of it as the little engine that could this sweet little thing that does remarkably well. It's one of the biggest shows in the world. It should swagger like one. Yeah. And I think they are going to be putting a shit ton more money into it. I think they have to at this point. I think, well, the rumor is they're going to be using the screens like the Mandalorian are. Yeah. Um, and and even now the new Marvel films, which, which is, is good. going to be so fucking good. I mean, Mandalorian looks sick. Yeah. Um, Gr granted, in terms of the show, for the most part, its actual look hasn't been the issue with the current issue. Uh, the current, could the current series. Current issue, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, no, having you can do is just. We've seen it. You know, you can just do so much with that. We can have more alien-looking planets. Exactly. I think, hmm. like, when when have we had in the new era, like, an alien planet like the Mind of Evil? You know, where you 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 build this kind of, or is it which one? Is no, it? Mind of Evil was set in a prison. <laughs> what was known? Oh God, planet, planet of the Dead. Planet of the Dead. Is that it? Well, that was the Planet of Evil. Planet, Planet of Evil. Evil. Planet yeah. of Evil. You mean like the Tom Baker episode? The, yeah, the that forest. one. That one yeah. where it's like the red yeah. and like we've never had an Planet alien planet evil. like that. Like a, a whole story set somewhere like that. I just love to go back to these more like jungle alien-looking worlds, mm. you know. And there's something in the dark in these woods. You got to get back to the TARDIS. Like yeah. sometimes a simple survival story like that could go a long way and oh, keep yeah. things fresh. Absolutely. You know, Rings of Akaten could have done really well with this tech, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. That could have done amazingly. Yeah. But yeah, you know, like, 
<clears throat> it would be nice, and I think if we have that technology, I think we will take people off Earth, you know, take stories yes. to different places, you know, yeah. new worlds. And I mean, he's very CG heavy. I mean, you're reading through the book and all the plans, it's like big CG monster, big CG monster, <laughs> he writes in each one. I think he just loves his big CG monsters, and you know they're br they're bringing back the people who did the makeup for all of them off the era and RTD era Millennium mm. FX. No, you know their designs are insane, insane like all the iconic ones they design. Like, it's yeah, no really. it's got to kind of feel like Tim Zero is a weird blip because like there is a progression between the original Russell T Davies era to Moffat's era in terms of like production and like feel and such and then Tim was just different and now we're kind of getting everything back again <laughs> which i'm not gonna complain Neither. about i think Neither. it was nice that they tried something different mm. but bbc studios just can't handle it yeah it's too much of a big powerhouse man mm. indeed and uh, it's just gonna be epic it's gonna be epic it's gonna be big i think um and I hope they push merch and stuff a lot more, and you know, just yeah. really, it seems just so better fucking marketing. Like, and I mean, Russell T Davies says, like, after the centenary, they're going to be shouting about Doctor Who. Hmm. They're going to be saying so much about it. I think they will. I think everything's going to step up. Hmm. Confidential, I think, will be better and back. I think honestly, I we'll if you a lot of people in the industry would have been. I mean, I'm in the industry now. <laughs> Doctor Who Confidential was definitely a factor which made me go, "Wow, yeah. that looks amazing! I want to do that." And it did last a while, um, but I don't know. I... Maybe in a more online mm -hmm. presence. I don't think it'll be on. T but yeah, although BBC Three is back, so oh uh, yeah, <laughs> BBC Three is back. Potentially, I think he'll also be setting things for spin-offs. Yeah. I, I generally think, you know, RCD, he built a whole fucking universe and it's just sadly kind of collapsed. Yeah. Well. I mean, so. that kind of, kind of... Yeah, for varying different reasons, it kind of, yeah, eventually lost, yeah, the additional spin-offs and such. And yeah. again, they, they, they tried with glass! <laughs> yeah. Fine. <laughs> But, um, uh, God. I don't even completely hate that show, but, you know, it's, it's kind of an easy. <laughs> I just have no want to ever go back and watch it. Not a deep design, think. though. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think some episodes in that weren't too bad. Like, I just, I just pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> mm. It's just kind of embarrassing that a Doctor Who spin off flopped. <sighs> Oh well, dear, it's happened oh before. K9 and company. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Banging theme work. Yeah. K9. K9. <laughs> but right, I've, that's all i got to say. Shooty, welcome. You're going to be fucking ace. Mm. Uh, yeah, I have no doubt. I think you'll be able to do the charisma, fun, but also the fucking serious. Mm. And, you know, I'm guessing that's the whole thing that Russell T wrote was probably... A bit of a roller coaster of a of a kind of speech moment thing. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, great, excited, yeah, same. can't wait. I'm glad that Russell T gets to write an anniversary. Mm. Yeah, because he deserved it more out of anyone, really. Yeah, um, I mean, even Time Crash, while it was in his era, wasn't him writing it. Yeah. And that was Moffat. Yeah. So, <laughs> a very good as well. It was. But right, yeah. that's it. I'm done. <laughs> My throat's drying up. I got no, I got no water with My me. My shoulder's so... hurting. <laughs> yep, there we go. What do you guys think? You happy with Sh uh, Shuti Gato being the 14th Doctor? Um, I can understand some people are probably disappointed it's not enough for women. I can kind of... Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I can understand that. Yeah, um, like, I think there was... <laughs> again we could have closed the out so I wouldn't say too long on this but I think there was one or two sentiments of like oh you know like if they don't do a, like before the casting was announced like oh if they don't do like another woman it almost feel like oh this was a mistake let's go back to mm, the mm. feel um but I can yeah like I, I, 
and we'll have another female doctor. Like, absolutely, it's it's gonna happen. It might. I just it might don't not think be... RTD will write for them. That's the thing. That's. Mm. I, I, I don't wonder. know. I don't know. Do you like, think he's gonna stay that long? Though I think Gatwa will stay until. Yeah, if Moffat. Until RTD leaves. Yeah, like I, if if he, yeah, if he doesn't, yeah, because again, I'm not expecting him to do like a Moffat again, as I said earlier, like a Moffat, like double Doctor length. <laughs> um, no, I think if like... anything, he'll stay more as like a you know shadowing supervising kind yeah. of thing afterwards i think you know and series beyond celebrate yeah. the 16th I mean, he only stayed for four series the first time you know? i'd be so gutted if he just does the 60th and one series like mm. but i could yeah. also see that happening you know yeah i can because he's yeah because he's a very in demand you know writer, writer. and showrunner you know like, but like, I mean, if he makes this bigger and more successful, I mean, the amount of fucking money is gonna make mm. massive. True that. True that. And you know, he's Plus he one of the, the ones show. most passionate for the show's success. I mean, you know, all the yeah. stuff he like he did in order to get it back in the first place, like multiple attempts <laughs> to actually get it off the ground, which he was actually personally involved with. So. Yeah, I think he just loves the show, and I think. While you know he's going to support Chris Chibnall, rightly oh, yeah. so, professionally, you, sh you should. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. Um, I think he is like you know, looking at where it's going, and is like, it could be so much more than this. Well, exactly. Well, he was already saying that in interviews beforehand, like it's about the whole like mo this should be oh, like MCU. Marvel. Yeah. yeah, like that's the whole thing is that he's in a roundabout way saying where the show is at now is kind of way below where it should be in terms of yeah like a variety but i wouldn't say that's chibnall's fault necessarily no, that's no, budget and it's what the not. bbc is giving to it yeah absolutely. not that i think i don't think chibnall could handle a, a an mcu size thing if anyone could no. it would be RTD. well he, he was he was equipped to run like a broad church scale show <laughs> like something that's widely shown of course but like a smaller more personal yeah. production yeah even given being given the reins to Doctor Who has seemed to be rather a challenge a big for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, it's I think I think I'm I'm glad that Ace is coming back because I think if any classic companion could have her own series, it's Ace. It's Ace. Hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. And Tegan wouldn't be a bad idea for a show either, actually. I mean, yeah. If they're uh, if they're about, why not? You know, like the centenary is going to bring them back perfect kind of stepping point to, yeah. to go further. Like, and we know, and we know yeah. on some level, because I think there were comments made that Russell's somewhat involved in the centenary, at least on some I think level. he definitely would have looked over it, and I yeah. think he probably would have given advice. I think you know, it's a big anniversary special and it's going over to, you know he is finishing off the script, you know, he's writing the 14th Doctor's first yeah. scene. Yeah, but I think he probably would have read the script. I yeah. mean, he knows it's ninety minutes, so I guess he must know. I, 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 I think, I'm pretty I think... sure he must have given. You know, yeah. Well, had well, they I... finished filming it by the time? When did they film the centenary? <laughs> Actually, I think they filmed it afterwards, didn't they? I think filming. so. Filming da, 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 throughout the centenary. For... Specials filmed so throughout think, September think, think, 21, concluding 13th. Yeah, so yeah, he would have been about. I think I think Janet Fielding mentioned talking to Russell T as well. Yeah. Like, when yeah. she was posting on Twitter about, like, after they revealed the teaser, like, with the next time trailer. Mm. Mm. Like, I think she mentioned talking to Russell T being involved, so. Yeah. <sighs> I love the man. Russell T. Yeah. The guy. Still and he bad. also gives me a lot of confidence with my writing style <laughs> because I also barely plan the script and more to write where the story is going. So I feel very validated with my... Oh, my God. Every time I've been, like, taught for script writing, it's like, you've got to do a beat sheet. You need to write this down. I'm just like, no. I just want to write it. Just mm. I've done it up in my head. I've got where I want it to be yeah. and the themes I want to explore. Now I just want to write it. Just get the idea. And feel, like, feel, it just, you can feel naturally where the story is going. And it's yeah. like, I feel like if you're trying to fit a structure, you're kind of losing, like, 
the natural flow of a river, right? Mm. When you put yeah. water on a slope, it finds its way down. What feels right for it. That's, I guess that's how I feel for writing <laughs> at least. That's that's how yeah. I get the most like realistic dialogue. I'm like, oh, now they should say this. Okay, right. Yeah. I definitely leave at this point or this character would definitely get out. So I know at that point, okay, mm. argument has to end there. They exit. So, I mean, like, you know, and yeah. I just, so yeah, that's, that's how I, kind of so I feel very validated that he <laughs> also doesn't write like that. Um, yeah. Cause, cause yeah, I just, I hate doing all the planning. It, it takes, mm. takes the yeah. fun out of writing. I think it's good to like write down notes and ideas so you don't forget them. Oh yeah. Have a plan. But, but like... yeah, I just let it all swim around in a soup in my head. Yeah. Is, somewhat what he it seems yeah. that that's what he does and he just yeah. kind of gets ideas and it's like yes amazing story there we go boom yeah, when i do write stuff i'm pretty similar to so yeah <laughs> i get that yeah so yeah that felt very bad. <laughs> great but yeah sex education need to need to watch that mm. uh, I, he looks great from all the clips i've watched though <laughs> and all the youtube uh doctor who poops have yeah. been great as well <laughs> like talking to daleks mm. like excuse me can we see <laughs> He's going to be great. Mm. Um, yeah. I wonder if he is going to play it <laughs> with fabulousness. I wouldn't um, be surprised. Not. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I wonder if we're going to get a very camp doctor. Hmm. I, I think it would be great. I am. I think a good I mix. I think, like, you know, that. one who's, like, camp, but then, like, switches it as soon as he yeah. needs to. Like, you know, I think that would be... Can very much do the serious mode, but, yeah, has, yeah. Has, has that, you know, yeah. But yeah, man, he just looks like the Doctor. You see him like yeah. wearing like his fashion sense and everything. You look at him, you're like, damn, the Doctor could wear any one of these. <laughs> and he could. like looks sick. I've seen a lot of good fan art as well. Hmm. Some people have done some really nice yeah. fucking mock-ups. Yeah. And... I mean, I've primarily Boy. seen like people putting him in like Jodie's outfit because of course... You know, I've seen that, see that, but I've seen some people like just like collate ones that he's worn and use that. And hmm. A lot of kind of Pertwee style stuff like yeah. he's quite likes the velvet you know a bit like that he, cool. he looked really good in that he looks good in the suit to be fair he looks really mm. good so yeah i'm super excited to see his costume if yeah. they're filming on location soon i wouldn't be surprised if they just do an official mm. this is his costume i mean what they cast him in february so his costume's definitely decided by now oh yeah yeah um i thought it's crazy that there's a the first scripts out there you know like yeah like they're out there the 14 we're doctor scripts there. are out there we're getting they're, gonna, there. they're literally in production <laughs> right now they're literally doing all the pre stuff fucking exciting oh my god oh my god yes <laughs> very exciting shit mm. all right that's it we're out <laughs> shooty is the future we'll see you next time guys boy boy